The CFL has reached a TV deal with CBS Sports in the United States. So the Canadian Football League has inked a multi-year agreement with CBS Sports Network, CBSSN, enabling the 24-hour cable sports network to broadcast 34 CFL games in the United States this year. Quote, we're really excited to collaborate closely with CBS Sports Network to cater to our devoted fans in the U.S. and expand our following there, stated CFL Commissioner Randy Ambrosi. CBS Sports represents the pinnacle of sports broadcasting. Don't know about that. And we're thrilled to be featured our league on their network. Cool. Farhan Lalji, TSN Insider, said, quote, I'm told this deal is worth $1 million per year. Each CFL team will receive approximately 100000 Now, that's pretty cool. According to Dave Naylor, this agreement with CBS Sports is the most significant the league has ever had in the U.S., also involving a commitment to promote the games, which ESPN did not do, which has not always been the case, in past uh, TV deals. Now, the Canadian football, known for the larger field and faster play clock compared to American football, has been a staple of Canadian sports for over a century. The 110th Grey Cup Championship will be held this November in Hamilton, Ontario. Dave Weinberg, Executive Vice President of Programming at CBS Sports, remarked, quote, the CFL is an exciting brand of football with a rich history that includes some of the greatest game's biggest stars. We eagerly await the CFL's addition to our extensive lineup of live events on CBS Sports Network and look forward to showcasing the current generation of CFL talent, which is good. The initial CFL on CBS Sports Network games will feature the league's season opener and traditional holiday weekend matchups, including the famous Labor Day weekend rivalries. Full schedule will be announced closer to the season start, and the CFL will also reveal how USFL US fans like me, can watch games not broadcast on CBS Sports Network at a later date. That seems to kind of be a little interesting there. Ambrosi expressed confidence in the partnership, stating, quote, we're optimistic that by working together, we can cater to our American fans and continue to expand their ranks. We're excited for a partnership that unites the best of Canadian football with one of the premier brands in American sports television. Again, don't know about that. But however, this is a big deal. One million per year. For the CFL, basically, I believe they were getting hardly anything from ESPN and no promotion from ESPN. It'll be interesting to see who their other partner is. Is U.S. fans are going to have to pay to watch the CFL, or are these get these streamings going to be for free? That's all that will be answered in the next month or so, because the season is about to begin soon. The press release talked about we've kind of got the same quotes: thirty-four games. They're excited. Talking about the Grey Cup. So, for example, they gave some examples of the initial slate of CFL on CBS Sports Network games. I'm pretty sure, of course, we talked about the heated rivalry. So, June 8th at 9 p.m., the season opener, BC Lions at Calgary Stampeders. July 1st at 7 p.m., Canada Day, Winnipeg Blue Bombers at Montreal Alouettes. September 3rd at 7 p.m., the Labor Day Classic. And at September 4th, also Labor Day Classic. Uh, will be aired on there. And then Thanksgiving Day, October 9th, the day before my birthday, 1 p.m. on uh, the Ottawa Red Blacks at Montreal Alouette. So we will see the full schedule coming out soon, but that just kind of gives you an idea of the different games that they have on. But there's still a lot of other games in the CFL that will be on television somewhere, so we will be finding that out soon enough.